Nancy Ferguson and Murray the Monster in for Secret Ross today. Yeah, you do. <laughs> we don't speak uh, Icelandic, so Murray's going to pretty much be doing this interview. Yes, and thank you, Tom. I want to start out by saying all of you foolish simpletons that keep bombing my Twitter, I've already answered this question at least twice. Why does Murray get to interview Sigaraz? How does Murray know Icelandic? Who does Murray think he is? Blah, 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 blah. Green, green, green. Seven foot one. Blah, 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 blah. I am the Rock Talkers promoter. That's why. So, uh, yes. Anyways, here is Jonesy. He is a very beautiful little Icelandic man. He's very shy. Lost fat cartoon there, boy. Chingada, Jonesy. Hello, Tom. This room stinks of juniper berries. Wow, Tom, have you been drinking gin? You alcoholic. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> uh, Jonesy, you're like an alcoholic sniffing Icelandic shepherd. What's your favorite show that you've performed, Jonesy? Tom Escudacado de Alto de A. Jajamaganga, Jajamaganga, Jajamaganga. Jonesy. Uh, he says the first time they played in Florida, uh, because because <laughs> there was Brazilian girls with big butts and they were grinding all over his guitar. And <laughs> you're such a horn dog, Jonesy. Whoa, hey, 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 watch the language. Hey, don't, don't get up. Sit down, Jonesy. Shaba wo, shaba wo. Just sit down. Oh, thank you. I don't know why he's so angry, Tom. He's on edge, though. Let's go to your next question. There's rumors out there that your new album is going to be released in spring of 2012. Can you tell us anything about this album? Uh, Tom is, um, who's got the people come, more to come, Calamari, uh, it's now 2012, uh, so it's Tom to, uh, do I call Nuevo Sema, wow. Oh, ooh, wow, Tom, he says he would tell us but he's under strict lock and key to keep the secrets of the 2012 album. But what he will tell us is that it's going to be brooding, it's going to be passionate, and it's going to be really, really heavy. Like heavy metal guitars. It's really going to be working at Ebo. But in a way you've never heard before. You might as well just take every preconceived notion you have of the Ebo and just put it right up your own ass because Jonesy has reinvented it. He has mastered the sound of his Ebo, the distortion that he uh, pumps out of that thing. That was, that was my next question, is how he went about mastering his Ebo. Bara Lerzikora, puta la tourist. Etobukutakask, Braskala Kuchu, Viva la Kalua, Shkutabe Ibo. Para and you get them put in their tonist? Yeah, and Eskulaka. Texting came to set. Jones is singularly coming here, Sever Massamele, and I came to repeat the two commands you got in one less, but in air you're in the parallel. Uh, he says he used to play violin as a child in music class in grade school and some of the local kids used to pick on him and he's walking home from school and the neighborhood bully comes up to him and starts picking on him, pushing him and Jonesy stood up he said, no, you would not get in my face anymore. And uh, this bully took his violin and broke it over his knee. And they left him by himself with only a violin bow. So Jonesy broke into this guy's house the next evening. 
while their whole family was at church and Jonesy stole this boy's electric guitar and he left a note they said ha ha bitch you lose and that's when he started experimenting and figured out how to do things that nobody had ever done on a guitar and there you have it now, on your guys' 2005 tri- um, album, Tap, you have a song on there called uh, Hopi Pola, um, which translates to Puddle Jump In. And um, that, al- or that song is probably the most positive piece of music I've ever heard in my entire life. Is that what you guys were aiming for? Can, can you just tell me about this song? Cham is good at happy pola, they are to the Uder Kalua de Shire and the Mordor, uh, Eske Elrond, Eldra Bombaka. Para, I get them put in a tombstone. Oh, Tom, he says I found her and keeps repeating she's here. Was that came very little best to tell him his doctor? Never mind, that was a Star Wars joke. He's such a kidder. I swear, he's such a kidder. He says, Happy Pola was written and is always performed so that anybody that hears it will have the ability to speak with the Almighty Creator. Does he feel that he actually speaks to God? Not only one god, Tom, but all twelve gods of the Norse Parthenon. So, can you explain what Hope Blandic is to new listeners that may, may not be familiar with the great city? Whoa! Hey! My, Jonesy, sit down! Mago Wagwai! Mago Wagwai, take a seat. Don't get aggressive. Don't, Tom, I don't know what you've done, but you've angered him. God, it's that goddamn mustache. I told you before we came in here that you needed to shave that. Or trim it. It's so angry. Well, I, I'm growing it out because it's uh, November, and that's for men with uh, lung cancer and other types of cancers. It's so angry, and it's popping out, and you're frightening him. That's just how it grows. Well, why'd you have to cut it in such an aggressive fashion? It looks like horns or teeth. That's just how it grows. Well, Jesus, would it kill you to get a pair of scissors and just go around the edges and you know, trim the devil's briar patch? You know, he has quite a, quite a gnarly mustache around himself. Stop right stroking your mustache while you talk. You're challenging him. Hey, can we shut those dogs up, please? God, I thought we were professionals. Is I thought Chris was in charge of handling the animals. What does he do around here? Chris doesn't do much. Christopher! Shut those mats up! Shut them up. Jonesy, sit down. You've angered him. God, between your mustache he and looks, his hounds. He looks so terrified right now with those dogs. You know, I, I'm, I'm covering up my... My mouth now, so you can't see my mustache. Good. I think he's calm now, so we can go ahead and proceed with the interview, Tom. How long are you are you guys planning to tour on any? Uh Ali Bonagete to the bucket and on Dido any John G. Uh, I apologize first off for my panic attack. But I wanna say your mustache is very, very, very threatening and manly. So I apologize. And with that said, we will not be doing a traditional tour of any. Instead, we have released a beautiful monochromatic film that is a perfect counterpart to the CD. The original filming of our tour was refilmed with a 16mm camera and then 
They refilmed that again, allowing any to look and feel like something recovered from the past. You guys, you guys now, when you're on tour, you have eight people up there performing with you. Why so many people? Es que u cigarash es que bu tibe un prebre. Tom, do you have a problem with that? Is that too many musicians for you? No, I, I'm hoping that eventually we'll get 12. Un TK41 un prebe shebawa. Are you looking for a job, Tom? A job? <laughs> yeah. I'm always looking for a job. <laughs> <laughs> he says uh, next to it there's an opening for a skin flute player, and you would do fantastic, Tom. Georgie, you're such a kid. I love this guy. That's why I love him. Oh, idiot, Tom. Chris, right there, buddy. Part time job. <laughs> uh, Full time job with Jonesy. Uh, Tom, should I get off the pot here? Let's wrap this up. You know, Jonesy's got to sleep 23 hours a day. Why does Jonesy need to sleep 23 hours a day? Because he's so creative that it comes in bursts. And when it comes, Jesus Christ, it is nuts. It's like a supernova. And it takes a lot out of him. A lot out of him. In 2006, Sigur Ross performed for the FIFA World Cup. That's a pretty, pretty big deal in the rest of the world. Not America, but everywhere else. Uh, he fell asleep, Tom. He sound asleep. It's all the cigarettes you guys are playing in here. It's so relaxing. Okay, Jonesy and Murray, thank you guys so much for coming on. Murray, it's always a pleasure hanging out with you. Hey. Me and Carrick miss having you around. Yeah. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys tour on this any album, and I'm really looking forward to your new album next year. I'll tell him when he wakes up. Thanks again, and we look forward to having you guys on again. Trim your fucking mustache, Tom. Jesus Christ! So angry. This has been Rock Talkers. Every Friday at 6 Pacific Standard Time. And for more awesome rocking and talking, like us on Facebook. Check us out at piglet.com. And uh, don't forget, next week, these guys are going to be reviewing Here and Now by Nickelback and sitting down with Chad Kroger. Get your hand off my knee, Tom. Tom? Fucking knock it off. <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. Oh, you fucking dirty ass bearded pirate, dude. You're a pirate pervert.